All right, so as I mentioned, ladies and gentlemen, what we're trying to do is we're trying to write this formula, right? So basically what we want to do is plug in and try each and every of the first terms to go ahead and keep on um, to determine them. So let's go ahead and pretend n was equal to 1. So let's do addition and subtraction first, right? 1 plus what is going to give us to 4? What do I have to get? If I have n as my 1, so what do I have to do to get to 4? Add 3. three. Right? So it'd be like n plus 3, which was the last one, right? Now that works for number 1, but if I do 2, does that give me 7? No. So n plus 1 doesn't work. If you did subtraction, you would have to do, um, let's do, uh, well, it would have to be like 5 minus n. Because 5 minus 1 would give you 4, right? But when we do 5 minus 2, does that give you 7? No, so subtraction is not going to work, you guys can see, because um, we're going in the increasing pattern. So now let's look at multiplication. And when looking at multiplication, let's just multiply by 2. Seems very basic, right? So if I do 2 times 1, we know that doesn't equal 4, though, right? So what would I have to add to it? 2. So let's go ahead and check. Does that work for number 2? 2 times 2 plus 2. Well, 2 times 2 is 2, plus 2 is? Six, so it doesn't work, right? So now let's work on, well, why don't we do 3? Three? 3n. Three um, so if I did 3 times 1, what would I have to add to it to get to 4? 1. What if I did 2? Oh, so it looks like I have the same formula. It just depends on what number I have, right? Let's check another one. Let's check a 4. So does the fourth term, does that equal 13? Yeah, so guess what? That is our formula. Cool? Now, let's just pretend on a math test 